Hey, this is Deidre Beecham. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, this is the Visibility Show. No more playing small. Um, let's see. I am a visibility mentor, speaker, and creator of the Get Visible Mastermind. And I empower high-achieving, uh, brilliant women just like you to tear off their oppressive mask. And when I talk about that, I'll explain it a little bit later, but here's my little mask to show you. Um, but to take off your mask and just be yourself, the best you that you can be in the world, and it's just you. Um, you know, because it's about time that you're heard for who you are. Well, let's go ahead and get into it. <clears throat> I want to talk about playing small because it can happen at any time in your business, uh, even after you've been playing big. And I should know, <laughs> but I'll get into that a little bit more later. Today, what I really want to do is I, I thought about what, what did I need the most when I was having trouble with my confidence and getting out um, of the shell that I had put myself into. And so I want to share three things. Three, oh, my OBS studio. Re, okay, hopefully it's reconnected. I want to share three things that you can do to build your confidence back up after being derailed. And there's so many things that can derail you. Uh, and it all happens inside your head. But once you figure out what those things are and how they're affecting you, you can absolutely increase your visibility. So I want to share these three things with you. And I have one little thing here. Let's see. We're going to talk about your validation list, your personal success algorithm, and the key to everything. And it's very dramatic. <laughs> so my goal is to give you clarity on moving forward, how to build some of your confidence back up and get you more visible in your business and in your life. <clears throat> in the end, um, if you feel a pull to work with me, that's awesome. I'm going to share an opportunity to not only work with me, but also just to call and ask me a question or, or actually write in to ask me a question. And uh, who knows, maybe your question will end up on the show. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to talk about is your validation list. Um, now the entire reason you put a mask on, and I'll explain the mask, but the entire reason you put a mask on is because you seek outside validation, right? So instead of just showing up as yourself, <laughs> um, I just realized I'm looking way over here and I need to be looking right here. Sorry about that. So <clears throat> uh, you put a mask on. And what I mean by that is instead of just being yourself because you're concerned about um, what somebody is going to say or um, I can't be this way because I've been told that I'm a little bit too much. Right? Have you gotten that before? Um, so instead of going out and being yourself, you send your representative out, right? It's, it's actually a, a mask of who you are. And you can especially see this if you're an online marketer. Uh, you put your mask on and it's the mask is what you think your prospects, what you think the prospects uh, want you to say and how they want you to be. And this is incredibly difficult, especially for somebody coming out of corporate America, because there are all these rules about what you can and can't do, and you certainly can't be yourself. Right? So um, it's, it's just incredibly important uh, to take this off and, and be yourself. Now, overachievers, <laughs> overachievers, we happen to be really good at putting this mask on, right? Because uh, there's this need and desire to not be rejected, to um, be accepted in all the things that we're doing. And it's part of the reason you're an overachiever. Um, and there can be so many, you can have a ton of accomplishments and still suffer from imposter syndrome. 
so for example let me let me share with you I um, uh, when I look back over time right I have I've had a radio show I've had several podcasts I've been paid to speak across the country um, I started a social media marketing company in two, you know, 2008, 2009, when everything was crashing and it just exploded. I mean, I was, I had, it was just everywhere and it just grew and grew and grew. And yet after things happen in life, it just, you forget, right? <laughs> this is what is so important about having this validation list but before I even get before I get into how you create this let me let me talk about all the other problems that come along with this overachieving and why this validation list is so important because on top of being overachieving there's incredible levels of shame this happens to men as well but it's particularly happens with women uh, you know there's so there's hidden shame, right? Conditioned shame, uh, body shame, sexual shame, motherhood shame, intersectional shame, uh, aging, perfection, voice trauma, <laughs> caregiver. I'm sure there's more. Uh, add on top of that being a people pleaser. Are you a people pleaser? <laughs> um, I can be. I absolutely can be. And if you take all of that and add a significant event in your life, and it doesn't even have to be a significant event, it could be a small event, you add all of that up, the shame, the overachieving, the, the, the need to have people please, all of that, and, and you have you know, stressful few years, maybe COVID, <laughs> um, some things happening across the world that are just out of your control, and this unresolved shame, any of this unresolved shame can go flying back into your life and just crush you. And it's just absolutely crazy that that could happen. And that happened to me. I mean, life completely derailed me, derailed me. And it derailed me for, gosh, it's probably a good seven, eight years and I want to share I want to share what happened and not because I have this need to share who I am um, because I really believe that this may help somebody out there if there's somebody listening or if you know somebody who has gone through this and this may help them please please send it on to them so I came out of the closet after being married to my husband for 18 years. It was gut-wrenching. It was gut-wrenching for me. It was gut-wrenching for my husband at the time. It was gut-wrenching for family, friends. Um, <laughs> and it took a toll on people who supported me. And it wasn't something I wanted played out in public. But then, through a series of, it, does, it doesn't matter why, but yes, I came out online. And when I did, I lost hundreds of people that I was connected to. And it was sobering. Um, <laughs> it was sobering to see how many people didn't want to associate with me anymore once I decided to live in my truth. Wow. And, and if I told you it didn't hurt, <laughs> that would be a lie. But in the process, what happened, because of all the, the crap that goes on in your head, right? In the process, I ran to hide from rejection because I had had too much rejection. It was too much it, it just it just really shut me down and I thought well if if I'm not visible right <laughs> then you can't reject me Whew. wow 
and I, I couldn't I couldn't even see all that I had, I had accomplished anymore. I couldn't see all the people that were still there. I couldn't see the support. All I could see was the hate and the rejection. And it filled me with shame, which turned into self-doubt <laughs> that spiraled uh, into wondering who I was even in business anymore. Gosh, it was really confusing. And, and part of the problem was I wasn't hiding behind a persona anymore, which I felt like I was my whole life. And, and so I had so little experience of being me all the time that I really needed time to figure it out. And so I made little stabs. You ever made stabs at being visible? <laughs> you ever made little stabs at it? Where you're like, I'm going to do it now. <laughs> and you go out and then you do it for like a week or two. And then everything falls apart again because you haven't really grown. <laughs> yeah, that was me. And I've done that several times. And then one day, um, not that long ago, this is so funny. <laughs> One day, not that long ago, so funny. And I've done a whole bunch. I have done so much internal work over the past, um, obviously over the past seven years, but in particular over this last year, joined a mastermind and really uh, made a difference, uh, really working on myself and focusing on myself so that I could help other people. But one day I was working with a client because, yeah, I was still selling things, just not real visible. Um, and I was helping her with some teleprompter work because, you know, I'm a videographer. And so she was, uh, I was helping her work with the teleprompter and she was having a, really struggling with it a little bit. It was, sounded very, um, forced. And so I said, well, Hey, let me, let me do it. <laughs> let, me, let me work with the teleprompter. Let me do your script. And um and see what's going on so I, I read her script and she looked at me and she said oh my gosh do people know that you know how to do this i mean you're amazing and so so and i don't i don't tell you that to brag i mean yes i am good <laughs> i don't tell you that to brag I, i'm telling you that because i was so focused on growing and achieving, on doing the next thing. Oh, you mean you can go and you can be on lives without a script? Oh my gosh, I have to, that must be the next level. That must be the next thing. And uh, I'm this horrible person because I don't know how to do lives. <laughs> oh my gosh, the things we do to ourselves. I was so focused on growing and so focused on achieving high achievers out there that I hadn't even recognized that I had attained expert status in something <laughs> that I hadn't even noticed. Wow. Never enough, right? Never enough. I was not giving myself credit. <laughs> And I realized that in that moment, how critically important it was for me to stop seeking outside validation and validate myself. This is your validation list. So write down, write a list of all the things that you've achieved. Write down what you've done. Maybe you've overcome some horrific ordeals growing up. Write that down on your validation list as well, right? Write down all the things that you've accomplished in your life, in your business, in your personal life, and then read it and read it again and read it out loud. Keep it handy. It's, it's a beautiful thing for you to be able to validate yourself. And there are also some things you can do with your list to anchor your validation list into your soul. Uh, one of the things that I do is I actually read through it 
<laughs> on a pretty regular basis. But one of the things that I, I want you to do is to think about who you were before you accomplished those things. And maybe think back to when you were 12. I'm just arbitrarily picking up a, a, uh, an age. What would you say to her if you could? Right? What would you say to 12 year old you? Now reverse it. What would 12 year old you say to you now? And would she believe that you've been through the things you've been through and accomplished the things you have and where you are now? I wrote this list down for myself and I, I realized that not only was I not recognizing and celebrating myself enough, but that I could keep adding to it and how valuable this was for me to be able to look at and validate myself. And now you can validate yourself. Use it to validate yourself. You want a bonus section? <laughs> bonus section. Add your top 10 testimonials. Hey, it doesn't have to be 10, it could be five, it could be one. Put your best testimonials in there. In there. <laughs> Put your best testimonials. And read them again okay and if and and then this is just something i just i just want to throw this out here <laughs> if you can help people just a little side note if you can help people if there's something that you can do to help people that is nothing to be ashamed of that is something to be proud of and I'm telling you, and I, I've, I have done this where I have not said, hey, this is what I do and, and this is how I can serve you. But I'm going on some of your pages and, and you're not doing it either. So let people know what you do, what you're proud of. It made a huge difference for me and other people when I started putting those testimonials on my page and showing what I do. Get grounded in who you are by writing out your validation list and celebrate the badass that you are okay all right let's go on to number two let me see I think I have a little slide for that too how about here we go here we go your personal success algorithm so your personal success algorithm um, let me do it this way in in 2012 um, I wrote the book The Bold Factor and it was goal setting to get what you want I think oh yeah I do oh. goal setting to get what you want and it was the result of um, hundreds of interviews I had had hundreds of interviews uh, with thought leaders personal development experts um, on my show. I had a show called Three Steps Forward when I was living in, in uh, North Carolina. And the ideas behind the book work. I stand behind them. I still use them. I still use them for goal setting for myself. They're fantastic. But I don't think that I talked nearly enough about the importance of feeding your subconscious. And this is so critical. <laughs> <laughs> because your subconscious listen whatever you focus on grows right so what are you thinking about what are you thinking about when you're not really thinking when you're not really doing anything in particular what are you thinking about what do you what's going on when you're going about your day what messages are driving you What kind of things do you think about right before you go do an activity? I'll tell you, right before I started this, I started spiraling going, oh my gosh, last time I did a live. <laughs> uh, but that's not who I am. <laughs> and so I had to remind myself and grab my validation list and went, oh yeah, you know what, you're a badass get yourself up here because you have a message that can serve people 
you have a message that can help people. So get yourself up here, pull your big girl panties on, take your damn mask off, and be you. All right. So here's the thing. Your subconscious drives everything. Some studies, some studies say that up to 90% of our decisions are guided by the thoughts in our subconscious. And even if it's only 50%, wouldn't you want to make those thoughts work for you? <laughs> I mean, really, your subconscious, 90%. That just blew my mind. And I, I started thinking, when I, when I learned the 90% really got me, let me ask you, where do you want to go, right? Who do you want to be? And, and I'm not talking one month from now or three months from now or even a year from now. Let's, let's put some time on it. And let's say, this is going to sound arbitrary, but someday it'll make sense. 27 months, right? Who do you want to be in 27 months? Actually, I'm going to explain why. Okay, I'll explain why 27 months. So I was reading a book uh, called, um, oh, now I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, uh, A Compound Effect. The Compound Effect. And one of the things I was talking about is habits and how long it takes for a habit to go from, um, you know, a lot of people say, well, when does a habit become a habit? You know, 30 days or whatever. What he was talking about is how do, when does a habit become something where you are, um, unconsciously competent and through a series of studies I guess he decided it was 27 months okay so 27 months so I thought to myself what could I do I started an experiment with myself called the 27 month experiment and so I have different things that I do every single day um, in order to get to where I want to be in 27 months and I, I the beauty of this of the, I wasn't planning on talking about this, but the beauty of looking that far down the road is that it's easier to think about uh, creating habits um, that you stick to long term and not making crazy, crazy things that you do every day, but rather manageable things that you can do consistently and forever. Okay, that was a bonus. Let's keep going. So thinking about that, right? If you, if who you want to be in 27 months, instead of, <laughs> instead of waiting for them, right? Who do you need to be today? Right? Whoever you are in 27 months, just be that person today. What decisions do you need to make in order to be that person? Right? If you are that person, let's say in 27 months, you're like, well, I'm going to be a millionaire in 27 months. Great. Right, you're going to be a millionaire. millionaire. As, As a millionaire, millionaire what, what do you need, need to, to do right, right now today? today? Be that person now. Make those types of decisions now. What does that person do first thing in the morning? What does that person do before they go to sleep at night? Right? This all becomes a part of your personal success algorithm. Figuring this stuff out. Figuring out what it is that makes all of this tick inside of you. And that you can just be you. But the you that you want to be. You need to set up your day with um, routines that feed your cycles and move you to your greatness. Um, so, okay, let me get back on track. <laughs> so, all right, so, this is your personal success algorithm. Live your life and allowing inputs that feed you and help you grow and to expand and be the best that you can be for yourself and everyone else, rather than squashing who you are and sending out some representative out to the world, right? And there's so many tools that you can use to create a personal success algorithm. Uh, just talked about a little bit. Um, it does take time to create, it's a labor of love. <laughs> it's one of the things we're going to be doing in my mastermind. But it's a labor of love for yourself and for future you. And I also want to share uh, one more tool for this. This is so cool. 
Uh, if you, if you, you haven't, haven't done, done it yet, yet, please do it. Subliminal messaging, it is awesome. Um, you can use, is it, is it echoing badly? Is it echoing badly? Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm not sure what to do about the echo. I apologize about that. Um, but you can use a, uh, if you can use a uh, sleeping headphones, this is the one I use, and um, just goes on. It's awesome. It hooks up to my little MP3 player, and it works on my, on my subconscious while I sleep, and I just love it. It's really cool. I, do, I can tell the difference. You can also uh, meditate, journal, cold shock therapy, tapping. There's so many things you can do. You can all get into your personal success algorithm and do things that soothe your nervous system so that you're not on edge, right? <laughs> you don't need to do all of them. I'm just giving you some suggestions. But find what works for you and create your own personal success algorithm. So, so far I've shared two things that you can do, and that was your validation list and also your creating your personal success algorithm. So now, ready for this? This is the key to everything. <laughs> okay, okay, that's very dramatic. dramatic. Alright, the key to everything. Really? Really? Action. And not just any kind of action. I wrote, I wrote about this in my book. It's, it's taking decisive action in the now. Okay. Uh, I wrote about this in the bull factor as well. You see, action can't actually be decisive until there is premeditation. Right, so I remember the first time I was talking to somebody about this. I'm like, you have to have um, deliver. You have to have a, like an action isn't decisive, and they're like, but if you make a decision, isn't that decisive? No. No, and here's why. Um, because other, because if, if, if you just say, for example, if I just say, hey, you know what? I'm going to start a diet tomorrow. And then if you don't, if this isn't, if there isn't premeditation, if there isn't deliberate decision making, then what happens is you wake up tomorrow morning and you don't have the clothes laid out that you want to work out. You have still have the trashy foods in the house. There's all these things. You haven't prepped. You haven't prepared yourself for it. So you have to take actions, deliberate actions, that have been wrapped up in premeditation so that you know you've prepared yourself to succeed. Otherwise, you can, you're, you can just, your actions become reactions, right? And then you react to national events. That's an easy one. That, that happens a lot. National events, the weather, your thoughts, your feelings, your subconscious. And as long as you're reacting in your business and in your life, you're going to feel more and more out of control and affected by all of those things rather than managing and taking charge and moving forward in your life. And this is, this is one of the reasons that uh, people fail when you try to achieve something. And not having a clear, deliberate path and preparing yourself and, and putting protections in place to shore you up when uh, things aren't going well. And you have to you have to set yourself up for success and create a system for yourself and commit yourself to following that system. And it's boring. <laughs> it's, it's boring. It is boring as hell. Okay, let, me, let me share with you a personal note. Uh, using these concepts that I've been talking about, you know, having this the validation um, list and also your personal success algorithm, um, <laughs> and there's there's more components to that. But these are these are some really cool steps that I use. I I follow these concepts, 
and decided to follow a weight loss system, and so far I've lost over 60 pounds, and um, yeah, it's really cool. And people who know me are always asking, oh, what did you do? <laughs> so here's the real truth. It just doesn't matter. <laughs> um, and the reason I say that is because I was ready. I was ready. I had a support system in place, which included the system itself. Um, I was making deliberate decisions so I could take decisive action every single day. Um, I created habits that got me to where I wanted to be. I'm still losing. Um, I'll tell you some of the other things I learned. I learned to give myself grace and understand how the cycles in my nervous system work. So in most cases, the system doesn't matter. And I don't want to talk about weight, but this is in anything. This is in marketing. This is uh, in creating videos. This is in advertising. Anything that you want to do, right? The system, you know, a lot of times you're looking for the perfect system. And I used to. I used to sell a system. And I still have a system that I can sell. Um, and maybe I will. Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> I have a system. Um, but really, it, you need to find the system that works for you, whether it's my system or someone else's system. What's important is the support system in place. Do you have people around you that support you to get to your goals? Do you have people that are cheering for you? Do you have people that are going, oh, hey, you know what, I went through that, and this is what I did, or just there to cheer you on? We're we'll talking about the in the now concept, because remember it says deliberate actions in the now. So when I refer to being in the now, I'm talking about being self-aware and opening yourself up to hearing and releasing your inner badass. And you have one. I swear you do. <laughs> and the, the more you release the mask, the mask that you put in place to fit in. <laughs> this is crazy. We, we send these crazy representatives out to the world. And it just adds to the cognitive dissonance because we're saying one thing and then at home we're thinking another thing. And there's this 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 dissonance between it and it's it's frustrating, it's an exhausting. It really is. And the more that you take this mask off and release your inner badass and, and trust who you are and that you know what if some people don't like you so what the people that you're there the people that you are meant to serve you can actually reach when you're being yourself you know, I used to think that because I was on video I had to be all hyped in a certain way and that's just that's, that's not me I get serious sometimes I laugh you know and it's just Figuring out how to be me. So this is me. And once I get grounded in understanding that I'm making a deliberate decision to move forward, to do this live for you, to do the visibility show, because I know I have things that can help you. And then those of you that want to work closer, more closely with me, you have that opportunity as well but I want to make sure that I'm showing up. All right, I want to make sure, I'm, my, let me see if I'm missing anything here. Um, hold on, let me look at my notes here. Mm, 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 yeah. So just, just to reiterate, um, if you don't figure this out, if you don't get to the core of who you are, when you do show up online, when you do decide to be visible, even in your in your personal life, if you don't figure this out, you're going to sound like everybody else. And it's going to keep you alone. It's going to keep people's eyes off of your things. Because there's nothing to resonate with. So... And then you, could, you sound like every other person who's talking about their product or service. Right? Or you don't talk about your about what you're doing at all. 
and yet you wonder why you're not doing better in your business. Because <laughs> you're not talking about your business at all. You have to show up the authentic you, right? The, the you that your friends fell in love with. That you. The one with opinions. <laughs> the one with thoughts. <laughs> The who that you are at your core, that you. The you at your core is what your people, the people that you are meant to serve are looking. They're looking for you. And they can't find you because you're not being yourself. The authentic you, right? And so, in the meantime, you're setting out, uh, I, I call this the, your representatives, a whitewashed, lukewarm version of yourself. And you do it to make everybody comfortable. That's the crazy thing. If you do it to make everybody else comfortable, while you are getting further and further from your own message, from who you are, and you struggle with what to say, because the last time it didn't work, or I'm not this, or I'm too scared, or lives are just too hard. Can I really be me? See, but it's the uniqueness is what sets you apart. And I, I see you, Tisha. What if you feel like the mask got you where you are? Of course the mask got you where you are. Everybody's mask gets them to where they are. You are where you are because of your mask, right? And it's really, really scary because this mask has protected. We put the mask in place to protect us. That's why it's in place. We know that if there are certain things we put in place that we won't get rejected. But we also have a really difficult time getting connected. And here's the thing people say, but Deidre, I can't do that. I'll get torn apart. Somebody's gonna hurt me. Yeah. That could happen, absolutely. But here's the beautiful thing. There aren't nearly as many of those as the people that are gonna say, oh my gosh, I see you, you're there. I've been looking for you. So let's have a real chat about this because I, this, this is a really big stuck point, especially for high achievers, for people that um, are, are brilliant at what they do. This is very, very difficult. Um, so I want a real chat about this. So think about the people you admire the most. Right? You admire them for their different for their la for their differences, for their uniqueness. Right? You 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 are attracted to them because of how they stand out from the crowd, because of how they think differently, act differently, talk differently, do different sound different. Yet you hide from your own uniqueness behind the mask of fitting in. And I get it. <laughs> I get it. People are horrible. <laughs> they really are. People are horrible. And now we have to worry about trolls and bots. And <laughs> I mean, it's nuts. Yeah, you, you probably are. I'm, I'm probably going to get attacked. But... <laughs> and in fact, some people come out of the woodwork to shame you, <laughs> especially as a woman. And even more importantly, if you don't have your validation list handy, <laughs> if you're not feeding your subconscious, you will struggle with those outside attacks. And more egregiously, attacks from inside your own head. And there's just no time for that anymore. Love up on the people you serve in your business. It's time to do that. It's time to take the scary action because it will change you. And it sparks creative juices. <laughs> it really does. Action is where you learn. Make sure you talk to people because you care. Sell your services because you know you can help. 
uh, because you know you need the money. You create a support system that serves you where you're trying to go in your life. Don't let life's derailments keep you derailed. And today, if you don't already have one, create a validation list. Oh, where do I have that here? Yeah, create your validation list. Use it in reference to remind you of who you are and the amazing things you've accomplished. And if you have testimonials, add them. Give yourself credit. Give yourself the credit you deserve. Also, make sure you create your personal success algorithm. Uh, oops. <laughs> Why did we do that? Your personal success algorithm. Take the time to slow down, okay? Figure out what you need to do to feed your subconscious so it works for you rather than against you. And then the key, of course, you remember, was to take action in the now. All right, make a plan. Use your strategy and capture your thoughts and take the scary action. All of these, I promise you, will help to build your confidence back up, build your resilience for future derailments, and increase your visibility, but mainly to yourself. Because after all, visibility is actually really, really simple, right? Turning on a camera is really simple. Hard part is taking off your mask so that you can be seen. I hope this has helped. For more personalized support, if you're interested, I have several ways to work with me, including one-on-one -on -one mentoring and also the Get Visible Mastermind. Why a mastermind? I love them because of the, the varied perspectives, right? You get very valuable feedback, not just from me, but from other people in the group. I do not purport to know everything. I think masterminds are amazing because you get so many people to help you out in your business and in your life outside of the entrepreneurial solo, right? Solo? Silo. Silo. I'm pretty sure it's silo. <laughs> okay. But the other benefits, which are just as important, right, is having a place to go where people are like-minded. Um, I know for me, it was a great, it's a great place to go to vent, cry, celebrate, right? And don't you want to go somewhere where you could celebrate without judgment? cry and mourn for something that's going on in your business without being judged, that's awesome. Uh, where we can inspire each other and reach for higher and higher goals. Uh, so that's pretty, pretty darn cool. In the, in the Get Visible Mastermind, provide a, a kind, safe space of like-minded, humanist, fun-loving, grounded, open-minded, feminist, driven women. And we want nothing, nothing more than for you to be the powerful badass that I see in you. My goal is for you to experience the trust in yourself in your unfiltered state. And we'll take videos of you in your unfiltered state and show you what a badass you are. And trust me, <laughs> that's pretty awesome. <laughs> to understand how powerful you are and that you've carried it along inside of you it's there it's waiting for you to trust your badass knows what's possible you just need to believe so every woman who chooses to work with me will learn to speak her whole truth trust her value and stand in her awesomeness but the greatest gift, honestly, is when she learns what she's capable of. And that's what I like to call a deep knowing and being. And it'll change you, it'll change everybody around you. I call it the ripple effect. Well, I don't, I mean, it's a, it's a thing. The ripple effect. Gosh, but wouldn't that be beautiful? So let's change the world together. Apply today for a complimentary clarity call. And I do believe I have that here somewhere. Here it is. Oh, look at that. So we'll just go to deidrebeecham.com 
forward slash clarity dash call. And I would love to, uh, uh, I'd love to help you out. So remember, visibility is simple. Taking off the mask and fitting in, that's the work. You, my lovely, lovely, crazy badass woman. I know you're out there. You're worth every moment. This has been the Visibility Show with your host, Deidre Beecham. Be bold, be you, be known. Take care.